I've done nothing to you. Crazy yeah, you are. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. Recognize, recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now. And I literally, I give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now. I finished it, Nikki. Okay. Right, I said, at, at, right, for a long time, it was you. It was me. Yes, so, so, and, and so, your, so your... So you didn't do your research. <sighs> what is it? So, so, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have somebody send you, send you the information about all the women in the, in the last years who have had um, billboard recognition, mm -hmm. worldwide mm -hmm. global recognition, mm -hmm. since you are clearly putting yourself above these people. No, I'm not. That's like, that's the purpose misinter... Uh, I can't even think of the word. Like, just purposely trying not to understand what I'm saying. You don't even understand what you're saying because... See, no, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was you running shit for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said that there are other females flourishing. What is the problem with that? Okay. Well, I love you, and I will, regardless, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to support you from the sidelines. I feel very, yes, from the sidelines because I can't do it publicly when someone is literally subtweeting me for no reason. Purposely okay. trying to misinterpret what I'm saying. I, I respect you too much to go back and forth with you. So okay. I, I appreciate you for getting on the phone with me. The song lyric was recorded last year, way before any of this. And I cannot. Hard, yeah, you said, because you just, you just said I like to say it's giving, though. That it's giving bar was nothing. It didn't have nothing to do with you. What's not going to benefit me? Let me go. I have to do a Zoom. I'll, I'll hit you back. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, so I woke up to Lotto and Nicki Minaj dragging each other for filth. I just, I knew this day would come and here it is. So it started because Nicki Minaj, super freaky girl, was moved from the rap categories in the Grammys to the pop category. And Nicki basically was like, well, if y'all gonna move super freaky girl from rap to pop, then you need to move Lotto's big energy from rap to pop. This is not to say any song is bad or any female rapper is bad. I think, and I always say this, any rapper, female or male, that wins a Grammy, you should be fucking proud of yourself. So Nikki did go on to say that she's not saying that the song was bad. She's not saying that Lotto is bad. She's just saying, let's be fair. Because the two songs were produced by the same person and they both have that upbeat tempo. So if one song is pop, then both songs are pop. Also, tweets of Lotto saying, I got my pop song going up now. I'm finna give y'all that Irvin MF. So she also admitted that Big Energy was a pop song. But Lotto was not here for Nicki Minaj post and tagged her saying, with all this being said, this wasn't just about a Grammy category. You being funny, bringing me up to defend your case, knowing our last convo didn't end on good terms. You literally told me I'm not flourishing and no one cares about my little song on the phone, LOL. Whew. So Lotto came out with the receipts, the voice recording that I played earlier in this video of the back and forth with her and Nicki Minaj. So she felt slighted by Nicki Minaj comparing Super Freaky Girl to Big Energy because they just had an argument on the phone and they didn't end the conversation on good terms. 
And Lotto was really in her bag. She said, enough is enough. Nikki has been bullying me since the beginning. She tweeted, been subbing. Super freaky grandma is married and related to, you know what? You ain't gonna bully me. My idol turned rival. Now you hating. Do I need to bring the receipt, oh, no. baby girl? No. No. And so Lotto started to drop her receipts one by one. The first one was an article that says Nicki Minaj shows more love to Koi LeRae. Quote, wish I had this confidence. The rap legend admires LeRae's unique style that she's sexy while being completely covered. <laughs> Y'all can't be talking about the same Koi. Not covered. Um, and has a face that doesn't look 20 years older than her real age. So Lotto believes that Nikki is referring to her when she says that she has a face that is 20 years older than her age. And y'all know it's not common for me to come on here and do rap beef commentary, but sometimes y'all really need to hear an unbiased opinion. I'm not a barb. I'm not Barty gang. I'm not a lottery ticket. I am Eloho, like for real. I come through with the looks, effects, and the tea, and I'm really unbiased. I stand back and I be like, hmm, okay. And every once in a while, I will drop my commentary. And I know some of y'all fan bases ain't gonna like this, but in this case, I really don't see what Lotto did that was wrong against Nicki Minaj from the beginning. Beginning, Lotto said, I'm a Barb. I love Nikki. I'm inspired by Nikki. Nikki started to dislike Lotto when she did the interview and said that for a long time, Nikki was the only female rapper at the top. But now there are so many other rappers at the top, close to the top, semi top, on their way to the top, eligible for the top. And Nikki did not like that. Now, I completely get why Nikki didn't like that statement, but I also get why Lotto said that because it's true. Like, there's a lot of mainstream rap artists now. And I don't think Lotto was trying to be petty or trying to dethrone Nikki when she said that. She was just saying, like, there's a lot of us now before there really wasn't a lot of us. And when Lotto noticed that Nikki was subbing her because she was, the same way she subbed Meg the Stallion by calling her Bigfoot. Nikki said, you've shown me too much genuine love for what? To be exempt from something? I could say the same thing, but would you or Bigfoot care? No. Nikki is still feeling away because she no longer has that relationship with Meg Thee Stallion. When Meg Thee Stallion came to Nikki, she also came with that, I'm your biggest fan, I'm a Barb, I love you, I love you, I love you. So Nikki does have some PTSD there with Meg Thee Stallion, but she shouldn't have brought her into this conversation with Lotto. You know, two different women, two different circumstances. And I honestly feel like Lotto was being genuine, like trying to approach her, like, what's going on? Why are you beefing with me? And it's like, PTSD. Oh, I'm beefing with you because you claim you love me, but you really don't. You and Bigfoot are one and the same. Long story short. And this tweet from Lotto also resurfaced where she said a while ago, this artist called another artist, someone else I know was there and heard it on speakerphone and said, why the hell are you doing a song with that little ass girl? I know they feel dumb now, LOL. Never even let them know I knew about it either. So the lottery tickets are suspecting that Lotto was referring to Nicki Minaj and the song Sunshine featuring Lil Wayne. Oh my God, these YouTube streets about to be on fire. Okay, so after Lotto calls Nicki a super freaky grandma and brings up her husband, someone else says, your father is in his 60s, your mother is 39. Meaning when your father had you, he was roughly in his late 30s. Your mother was 16 or 17. You know what that means, right, Lotto? Nikki retweeted that and said, Scratch off, get your dumbass to the mic right now. Explain this. Since you just became a activist in the last five minutes, you better have a good explanation for this shit right now. This better be a typo. Wow. 40 year old bully is trending. Barb's is trending. Super freaky grandma is trending. We stand with Nikki is trending. And all the girls are fighting. Someone tweeted, Nikki called Lotto Karen because she assumed the black community would eat it up. Y'all do know that. She tries to use black people as a weapon. Never forget, she lied and said her husband's victim was white during the height of the BLM movement to use black anger in her favor. Someone said, all Nikki said was big energy should be considered a pop song too. Did she lie? No, y'all just be trying her and it's annoying. And I think sometimes as fans, we got to take a step back and just look at it from a person to person perspective. If someone who you just had an argument with on the phone, someone who you feel like has been subtweeting you, someone who you feel like diminishes you as an artist and your music, 
if that person then comes out to say, well, if my song isn't in this category, then your song isn't in this category, would you not then feel like, okay, this person is bullying me or attacking me or this person really has a problem with me and I'm at, I'm fed up. I'm at the point where I'm going to call her out on her shit. I'm going to call her out on what y'all don't see, the conversations that y'all don't hear. I completely stand with Nikki with the fact that the Grammys are trying her. I get that. But she is also trying Lotto. And y'all know I don't, mm, I'm not too too into Lotto, you feel me? She is a dope rapper, but I'm not too much into her. So for me to come out here and be like, nah, Nikki is really playing with Lotto, y'all know I'm unbiased. Y'all let me know your thoughts on this whole thing down in the comment section. Don't come for me. I'm just coming through with the looks, effects, and a T. Whether you want to see it or you don't, the truth is the truth. Y'all let me know your thoughts. Maybe there's some things that I'm missing. Put me on down in the comment section, and I'll see you at the next one. I'm sure there will be more. So this is probably just a part one.